We have an ethical responsibility to care for uh, chimpanzees that we've kept in captivity. There are roughly a thousand chimpanzees in five facilities across the United States. That's in research laboratories. Chimpanzees have primarily been used um, to test vaccines. Part of the reason there's such a large number of chimpanzees in captivity right now, although that number is declining, um, is that there was a large breeding effort to try to see whether chimpanzees could provide a model for finding uh, some sort of treatment um, or cure for HIV. In the wild, chimpanzees are endangered and their habitat is shrinking, so there's no way to actually put them into the wild. Many of them are captive born for multiple generations, so they don't actually have the skills that would be necessary um, to put them back into the wild. We've took them out of the wild, humans did. They live very long lives. Um, they've served us in research. We've learned a lot about them and about ourselves and our own evolution, our shared evolutionary histories together. So we owe them, I believe. When I first began my work um, studying captive chimpanzees and trying to understand what the situation was like in the United States for captive chimpanzees, um, it was not at all clear that there would be any interest in asking the ethical questions about whether we are justified in continuing to use chimpanzees in biomedical research. To my delight and surprise, that's changed. And now um, there's been two government studies that have been done, and the government concluded that at this particular point in time that there is extraordinarily limited scientific value to the use of these highly intelligent, socially and emotionally sophisticated individuals. And it's looking very much like the era of doing invasive biomedical research on chimpanzees is coming to an end. And I've developed a new website, uh, The Last 1000 Chimpanzees, which will track the movement of the individual chimpanzees from the research lab to retirement. The idea here is that these are individuals that have distinct personalities, that have had great things happen to them and horrible things happen to them and meaningful relationships. And it's important for me to help other people to understand these individuals as individuals and to recognize them as more than nameless research subjects. I had long been working on human relations to the more than human world, the natural world. And so part of the work that I do as a philosopher is to uh, try to understand those relationships and think about ways of making them better. And I was at a conference and I met a chimpanzee uh, researcher who invited me to her laboratory where she was doing cognition research. Um, and I met a chimpanzee, Emma, and we spent a lot of time together and she completely captivated me. It was just, a, it was really life-changing um, and it really opened a different way of thinking about um, both my own work and how we all think and should think about chimpanzees and other animals.